Welcome back to Ribbon Candy Hooking. I'm Deanna, and I'm here looking at this beautiful, true rag rug. This came from a store called Five Below, uh, which is a super cheapy store. Everything's supposed to be five bucks or less. And I'm thinking about my visit to the Deerfield County Fair and talking to my buddy Linda Hadlock. She was in the process of deconstructing a really crappy rug, like quality-wise, like this, and using all the bits and pieces to hook with. And we talked uh, quite for quite a while about how interesting an idea that was because this is a lot of material for five bucks or uh, or more, right? Sometimes these rugs are 10, 15, 20, but this is a lot of material. And if you love doing bright, colorful, hit or miss type things, and you love using a variety of different textiles, not just wool or yarn, this is a great project for you. So the rug looks like this, the back looks like this. We're gonna uh, reverse engineer it, AKA take it apart. And look at all the different bits and pieces that are inside of it. This is what the tag has to say for us. 90% polyester and 10% cotton. This is made in India, right? So it doesn't have to be this exact thing, but we are, if you're gonna be deconstructing something, really cannibalizing it, we want something that's not expensive, right? Because that's that defeats the purpose of, of this kind of a thrift project. So when I look at the surface, there's already pieces that are coming out. There's a beauty right here. This is what I can expect to find, this kind of thing. I would hook with that. I'd cut it, I'd either hook like this with or I'd cut it in half and hook with it. And I would keep like a little, I'll have to get a little basket ready. Uh, this is what I would do with this piece and then hook with it, right? I would just cut it with my scissors. I wouldn't be running this stuff through cutters. I'm gonna look for lots of pieces like this. Let's get involved with, let's just take one quick survey of this. We're seeing in the surface, I'm looking at this for the first time too. We're seeing lace, um, decorated lace. This has got like globules, globules of color uh, glue on it. I'm not sure I'm gonna go for that. It's got chiffon, lots of different chiffons. It's got, this is more structured. This feels like cotton to me. Um, some sort of ethnic style cottons, lots of chiffon. Here's a knit of some sort. There's lots of this white worked at intervals. This is t-shirt material. This is jersey. So that's handy too. It's less exciting, but it's handy. If we do like search in the dog for ticks, right? And we come in between here, you can see how it's made. There are these wide gullies. Um, this is still usable material in here, and we're going to cut that open and look. But you can see how the design of it is made, that they are putting a lot of filler stuff in with this white jersey. So we can expect to find lots of that. Um, interesting. It's an interesting rug. I'm not really seeing the jersey pop up behind. Shall we get involved in tearing it apart? That's what we're here for, right? So I'm going to flip it over and make a start here. I'm probably going to pull up a chair. Um, because I want as much as possible out of it. So I don't plan to use this again in the future. Let me just start right in the middle and just pick out some of these warp or weft. I'm not sure which it is. I'm not a weaver, but... Warp is side to side, I think. Okay, so this maybe is the weft. Getting all wefty. So... We're gonna maybe speed this up for a minute while I tear. If I had a seam ripper, which I don't at the moment, that could be a handy thing too. We're gonna speed up. I'm gonna pull along here and see if I can liberate this one pretty piece. So I'm going to just check this. I was kind of experimenting with different scissors. Razor would probably work as well. Um, I'm just experimenting with whether I need to do every single one, and you really do. It, it's not going to give up quite that easily. So let me just get a piece of it out here and see what it looks like. Just cutting away. Oh, you see, look at this. Look at this. This is more information. So if I pull this, that's woven in there. Okay, so you see this red binding here. That's the edge of that. Let me get rid of that. And can you see how it's wrapped around? Do you see that? Ha ha. Okay, I'm seeing the mechanics of this now. It is going to be quite easy to... 
I don't really want to cut my strips too much. I want to use them. But I want to aggressively get in here because I don't want to make an all-day project out of a thrift rug. Otherwise, I've used so much time deconstructing an inexpensive rug. Um, and if your time is worth is worth money to you, you know, everybody's time is valuable, um, it kind of defeats the purpose. So I want to work fast, but not sloppily and uh, irresponsibly. You can see I am pulling out. That's a very nice big piece already. Oh, and look at that. It has some kind of um, surging on the edge of it. Now, I think we're going to see, oh, and this piece came right with, oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. We're in the hornet's nest. So you can see we already have a couple of exciting pieces here, right? This looks like recycled material already. This is something that's already been sewn, something chiffon. I think the more we head up the seam here, the more it's, well, it's going to certainly reveal those two. And, oh, look it, here's more. Oh, they all kind of pop out. Oh, they're smaller pieces too. Look at that. Okay, so we hit a vein. We hit a vein really well. And I'm just literally pulling. Okay, so this is what's happening. That's the topping. Yeah, it is the topping. So a few smaller bits have been, of all different materials, have been caught up in that larger up and down that snakes back and forth that is doing the heavy lifting and holding all these little bits. These little surface bits are just waiting to come free and they're being held together by these... Um, Lo oh, that one was a pretty one. Look at that. Ooh. By these longer strips. I see, said the blind man. It looks like we're going to be able to do a lot of pulling like that, too. So I'm wondering if I cut all the way up here. Hang on. I'm being fairly careful, as I say, because, yeah, I, I don't do meaning meaningless damage to anything at all. Let's see. Okay, so I've worked up another area here. I will say when I finish this rug, when I do it, when I unpick it in its entirety, I am going to be looking for a pick, like a seam ripper. Let's see. Looks like we hit, oh, at least we see how it's going here. And it is exciting, isn't it? Look at that. So another sort of round. Ooh, that's pretty. That's something exciting and stretchy. Very pretty. So I'm getting these long pieces out of it like these, right? So these are, I can make two piles in my scrap area. And I can put the longies that are like these guys, uh, the ones that do the heavy lifting. And then I can do the little scrappies that are just coming off. I don't know if I'm going to save something like that. But there are, you just touch them and they come loose in your hand, right? How fun is that? It really gives up easily. Um, all of these pieces are just waiting for their moment. Pick me, pick me. They're waiting for their moment uh, to come into service. Oh, look at that pretty one. Isn't that exotic? It looks like a scarf. This is a nice cotton or rayon. But yeah, it's going to want to come out pretty easily once you start picking at it with very little uh, encouragement. You can see probably going to be moments of this, right, as you go from row to row, but you can see how, and I'm probably, I'm going to keep these as I would keep little um, white things, like little uh, pot holder things to dye with, but I might not keep these as they are. I could dye over them. So I, it seems that I will have as I unravel this rug, which I won't do the whole thing on video, but it seems like I'm going to have three category or manner of things that I'm loosening up. One of them are the long strips like this one. Another is the white things that are, are kind of the filler for this. They're also helping all the pretty colors pop. And the third category is for me the most interesting. It's all these little all these little guys, right, who are just coming off the edges as you pull of all different ooh, that's a long one. Right? All different kinds of materials. And yes, they're small pieces. 
but we know as hookers, I feel like I'm harvesting right now. <laughs> we know as hookers, even the small pieces, if it's something beautiful, there's the pizza. If it's something beautiful, it's something that you're going to want to use. What project? I'm going to keep going. I'll see you next time at Ribbon Candy Hooking.